DVD 2018 and I'm speaking to Craig Fennell, Future Programs and Technology Director, BAE Systems Land UK. Craig. Uh, Afternoon. Outside there yep. is an example of Challenger 2 main battle tank. Uh, not a bog standard Challenger 2 main battle tank, one that BAE Systems has breathed on for want of a better word yes. and, and possibly with uh, one eye towards the Challenger 2 life extension program. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about that vehicle and, and what you have done to it? Sure. So, so the uh, Challenger 2 came into service in the UK in 1998. Um, we're now at the stage where the customer, the UK MOD, wants to extend the life uh, from 2025 out to 2035 and beyond. So that's really around removal of obsolescence. A lot of the equipment that's fitted to the, uh, to the tank has, has become obsolete. And um, what we want to do is, is bring in the equipment that's fit for the future. As part of that, we're very much uh, looking at um, bringing in new, new equipment, new thermal imaging systems from our partners. So, we, so the Challenger 2 solution that we have for life extension program is a teaming, Team Challenger 2 made up of ourselves, BA Systems, General Dynamics UK, uh, General Dynamics from Canada, Leonardo, Safran from France, uh, and also Kinetic from the UK. Uh, it's all about giving that tank the capability to uh, not only to last until 2035 and beyond, but very much taking it uh, further, giving it operational capability throughout the, uh, throughout the night, so 24-hour hunter-killer capability. So that's a big step change for the Challenger 2 tank. There are a number of other optional enhancements that we've introduced as well, such as hard kill DAS that is shown on the uh, demonstrator vehicle outside. And, and at Challenger 2, uh, 1200 horsepower, Rolls Royce Perkins engine. Indeed. Um, most of its contemporaries have 1500 horsepower these days. Yes. Is there any option? Have you looked at an engine swap? There certainly are options. That wouldn't be part of the life extension programme. Uh, the UK Ministry of Defence have other programmes. So, for example, they have a programme called HAPE, which is Heavy Armour Automotive Improvement Programme. Um, that's looking at what the options are. So that is something very much in our mind about switching engines, up racing engines. Uh, those discussions are ongoing as part of the HAPE programme. And another thing that's often discussed when Challenger 2 is mentioned is, is rifled main gun. Yes. There are options out there for smoothbore. Yes. Not everybody is familiar with the differences between rifled and smoothbore. Yes. Uh, for those, could you go through and, and just tell us a little bit about the two? Sure, yeah. Um, in very simple terms, as, as the term suggests, a rifled barrel. As you, maybe you see on the start of a James Bond movie, which, which has turns around the barrel, which so essentially the bullet, the projectile, as it travels down the barrel, uh, spins very rapidly, and it's that spin that gives the stability for the projectile through uh, once it leaves the barrel and goes to the target. Uh, smoothbore ammunition, once again, as it suggests, it doesn't have the rifling, um, so what it relies on is once the uh, projectile has left the, ba the barrel, is that it has uh, fins to give it stability. So it's different, different approaches. Um, they have different uh, pros and cons, different uh, advantages, disadvantages, uh, and it's very much up to the, the customer's choice to what, to what he would like. And, and finally, just returning to the Challenger 2 Life Extension program, is there any update on where that is and, and when any decisions might be announced that you can discuss? Yeah, well, we're at the stage at the moment where the, the assessment phase, we're well through the current assessment phase, that comes to an end at the end of this year. Uh, the customer is looking at a, a number of capability enhancements that he is considering uh, introducing. Um, those discussions are going on at the moment, very much part of the customer's activity, not part of ours. Um, so there is a potential that the, the assessment phase could be extended or we may go straight into a demonstration and manufacture phase at the end of the assessment phase following the end of this year. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Thank you.